The Recognize apps are available across a range of devices, both Android and Apple, for smartphones and tablets. Today we'll demonstrate how to use these apps, starting specifically with the installation of the Foot app on the iPad via the App Store. While we are focusing on this particular app and device, the process and functionality are very similar across all platforms and apps. Here in the search function, by typing the word recognize, you'll find six different options to choose from. Hand, foot, back, knee, shoulder, and neck. Choose the app that's relevant to your knees. We're gonna open the app for the foot. This is a paid app, and the cost will be displayed in your local currency, and you can click and purchase it here. Once you've installed the app, this is your home screen. Start by going to settings. There you can enter the patient's first name and surname, the person who will be using the app essentially, which may be yourself. And if you are using this in conjunction with a clinician, you can enter their email address here. This will allow you to share your results with your clinician quickly, which we will discuss later in the video. You have an opportunity to set up your quick test which allows a quick retest of a standardized test that you can come back to and monitor your progress. You'll see you have an option of the type of images to be tested on. We recommend starting with basic images. Then you can choose the number of images from six to 50 and the time each image will be displayed before moving on to the next one. A good starting point would be to choose 20 images displayed for five seconds each. Once this is set up, you can return to the home screen by swiping your fingers from left to right across the screen. Next, if you'd like to know more about the science behind how this app works or details about specific targets that you might be aiming for, click on the science section. There's a wealth of information on graded motor imagery, including an explanation of stage one, which is this app we're using, also known as left-right discrimination, and a brief overview of stages two and three. For more information, you can click the link to head to our website to read more. When you're ready to start using the app, click the play button in the top left corner and you'll be shown three options. The first is the left-right discrimination and the other two are, are games. Let's start with left-right discrimination. Here is the quick test that you set up earlier. If you go into the quick test, you'll see that you can enter your pain level and it's already set to display the options you configured in settings just before. If we go back by swiping from left to right, you can look at the other types of modes. There's basic, vanilla, context, and abstract. Each gets progressively more challenging as you advance. Let's start with basic. Set your pain level again and the number of images you'd like to see. As you progress, you can increase the number of images it will display and also how much time you have for each image before it skips to the next. The lower the number, the harder the challenge. Once this is set, click go when you're ready to start. The aim is to identify whether the image displayed is of a left or right foot. If you're using the neck or back apps, the task is to select in which direction the back or neck is rotating or bending. The goal here is to answer as quickly and accurately as possible. At the end, you'll notice that you get an average time for your left and right, and then a percentage for your accuracy. You can choose to play again or return to the menu. Let's now look at the other modes you can challenge yourself with. So we just did the basic mode. These vanilla images are similar to the basic mode, but the orientation is now turned to increase their difficulty while still having a plain background. If we have a look at the context images, you'll notice that they feature photographs of the body part in varying contexts. And the final group are the abstract images. These are artistic representations of body parts, which can be more cognitively challenging. Once you've completed the task of left-right discrimination multiple times, you'll be able to view your results from the home screen. Click on results, or as you saw before, this is also displayed after you finish an activity. Here, you'll see a graph of how well you've been doing. Notice there is a green, red, and black line. The green line represents your right side, the red represents your left, and the black line shows your trend over time, indicating how you are improving over time for your left and right accuracy. As you improve, the trend line will move from low to high, indicating on average, you are improving in accuracy. Now, 
if you select the option button at the bottom, you can decide what data you would like the results page to display, such as the last 10, 25 or 50 tries, whether you want to display accuracy or speed, and whether you want to display just specific modes. Let's change it from accuracy to speed. Now you can see my speed results in the graph. A trend line that moves from high to low shows we're getting faster at responding to the images. The other two game options that I mentioned before are memory and speed match games. If we look at memory, we have easy, medium and hard levels. What it's asking us to do here is to find and remember pairs of images. The goal is to find the pairs as fast as possible and then our personal best scores will be displayed here. If we go back to the menu, the last option is a speed match game. Here we're choosing if we're looking at left or right images. Let's select right, which means we have to identify all of the right feet and we'll try the easy difficulty level. Our aim is to select all the right foot images as quickly as we can. So you can see my accuracy percentage and the time it took. Again, my personal bests are recorded. The last option on the app is to create your own bank of images. I've already uploaded a few different images that I've taken of feet. When I choose an image, I click upload. Once I've selected the image I want, I then have to decide if it's left or right. This is a right, and then I save it. Alternatively, I can take a photo of my foot using the take photo option. You will need an equal amount of left and right images that total whatever value you have set in the settings menu. As you can see here, back in settings, for the test I have it set for six images. So I must have three left images and three right images in the image bank. If this was set to 20, then you must have at least 10 left images and 10 right images set in that image bank. Once I have enough images in the bank, I can then play left-right discrimination and select the My Images mode at the bottom. Finally, when you're ready to share your results with your clinician, click Results and Options at the bottom. Here, you have an option to export all results. Click that. It will automatically open up an email address to your clinician with the information you provided earlier. You can change this email address if needed. If an email client doesn't automatically open up for you, you may have to set up your automatic email client on your phone first. Once this is done, hit send. Your clinician will then be able to help you interpret the results. And if they need any help themselves, direct them towards the graded motor imagery handbook. If you do find yourself stuck on a page and need to go back, try swiping from left to right. There isn't a back button on every page, so just try that first. So on that, we hope you find this app useful for your rehabilitation as many have in the past. And thank you for using the Recognize app.